Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of advanced ABAP concepts. And our new topic is how we can add a standard text or include text to the transport request. We all know very well we are creating the standard text or include text through S410 transaction code. After that, we used in the smart form, we used in the SAP script, we used in the Adobe form or PDF form, we used in the program also through the function module read underscore text. So standard text or include text is a very, very important type of text and we are using in so many objects. But have we noticed whenever we are creating a standard text or include text through SO10, system will never, never ask for transport request. Now the question comes, if system is not asking for transport request, then how that standard text will go to quality and production system? Because to import the object, yes, how the other system, how the objects are going to other system with the help of transport request only, suppose. We created a standard text through SO10 transaction code. We are using in the smart form. Smart form is in the transport request. That smart form went to quality system. But in the quality system, yes, that standard text is not there. That standard text is still still in the development system. Now, the most, most important concept is how we can transport or how we can save the standard text or include text into the transport request. We have dedicated steps which we need to follow to save the standard text or include text into transport request. And one of the extremely, extremely important topic from the project perspective. Yes, because the objects, because in case of real projects, the object should go to quality and production system. Firstly, what I will do, I will simply create a standard text through SO10 so that we can realize fully, yes, system is not asking for transport request, then we will follow the steps to save the standard text into transport request. So what I will do, I will go to SO10 transaction code. And we have so many videos in the previous playlist for SO10 in smart form playlist, in Adobe form playlist, in SAP script playlist, we are widely, widely using this standard text or include text. Suppose I will give some name to the standard text or include text. Suppose I am saying ZIN underscore text. I will go for create. Just to make sure or just to show you that it is not asking for transport request. So we are creating again. I will go for go to change editor. Suppose I am writing order details. I can write any text. I am going for save. I save but there is no transport request at all then how, how this standard text or include text will go to quality or production system. Now we will go for dedicated set of steps and these are static steps. 
you always, always has to follow these steps whenever you want to save the standard text or include text into the transport request. So I will go to SC09 transaction code first. But the first step, we will create a workbench request through SE09 transaction code. We all know very well we are creating a transport request through SE09 transaction code. So I will go to SE09 transaction code. Now I will simply simply click on to create button. I will create a workbench request. Now I will give some short description. Suppose I will say transport request for standard text. I will go for save. Now you can see system generated this number and under this main request, we have the sub task. Now the next, next important point. First step over, change the type of task, task. I clearly mentioned change the type of task to development and correction. I'm not talking about the transport request, main transport request. We are talking about the task, task. If you remember, yes, we are always, always clicking the task. Ultimately, everything is storing into the main request. And if you remember, Whenever you are storing into transport request, we are always, always selecting the task, task. So you can put the cursor on the task. Go to request slash task. As of now, it is unclassified. We will simply, simply change, change type. It is clearly saying we are changing the task type task. I will just change it to development and correction. I will go for enter. And it's not an extra step at all. If you, if you just see any of the transport request which you created, suppose if I will show you any of the transport request. I just went to SC09. I will go for any transport request. Suppose I'm going for this transport request. Have you seen in this transport request, all subtasks are development and correction only. So whenever you will store, they are always, always development and correction only. Here we are creating and after that, we need to change the manual. We need to change the type manually. If suppose I'm creating a program and I'm storing the program into the transport request at that time, it is automatically development and correction only. Here we created through SC09 manually the transport request. Then we have to change the type manually. We have to change the task type manually to development and correction. Now, what I will do? Now, I will go to next step. Now, what is the third step? Second step is over. We need to run the program RSTX. It is very easy to remember the program name. Report for standard text transport. 
it's very very easy to remember the name also sap provided a tra sap provided a dedicated program which is used to is which is used to add the standard text or include text to the transport requests so i will simply simply run this program it is very easy to remember report for standard text transport i will go to sc38 transaction code this is the program name i will go to execute now again important and you can understand from here also it is not asking for main transport request it is asking for task task to if you will put the main transport request anyways sap will give you the error you need to pass the task which you, or you can understand in a way just now you change the status to development and correction you need to pass that task it is very easy to understand whenever you are storing you are always always selecting the task now i will pass the task number i'll just choose this is the task number i will pass text object automatically coming text id automatically coming text language automatically coming you need to pass the text name but you created this is your text name which we created i will go to execute now our fourth step is also over we pass the transport request task i clearly mentioned here task and name of the standard text and we clicked on to execute button now after that yes this is the step after that so many people confused what they need to do next press enter once you put enter you will be able to see the add to task button now click on to add to task now it is asking do you want to add yes now our ta our standard text added to this particular task now if i will show you the request this is our request if i will go to back button and show you this is our request and you can see our standard text or include text is the part of this transport request extremely important concept now whenever we want to trump import it to quality or production we can simply simply release that transport request and yes sap basis person will import it to quality or production system so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we covered a we covered an extra extra important topic how to add a standard text or include text to the transport request whenever we are creating a standard text or include text through so10 system will not ask for transport request at that point of time but in real projects that standard text should go to other system because we are using in so many object smart form adobe form program script everywhere we are using now we need to follow dedicated steps for the same firstly create a workbench transport request through sc09 change the type of the task to development and correction task task then you can simply simply run the program rs 
TX fan. It is very easy to remember the program name report for standard text transport. Then in that report, you can run the program, pass the number of your task, pass the name of your standard text. Then after that, press enter. Once you press enter, you will get the add to task button and you can add the, you can click on to that button and your standard text will add to that particular task. After that, yes, you can release that transport request whenever you want to import into other systems. So that's it in this video. Thank you.